Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we have for you guys is rank 35. Nani, now as you guys can see it is Monday because of the season reset. We hit rank 35 with Nani who is probably one of my least favorite brawlers in the game. Before the season, my Nani was literally at like 60 trophies so it was quite a grind to get up there. But we did do it and we have some replays to show you guys. So without further ado, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up. So hopping to the first game here, we're actually facing a really good team. We're facing Chaos and a couple of his friends. Um, if you guys don't know Chaos, one of the best players in the world by far. He's a really crazy player. So we have him on lane. He's playing Colette. Colette's a good brawler. I think Chaos was also, also pushing rank 35. So at, at the start, you know, the minecart kind of went our way. And wh whoever kind of gets pushed back by the minecart first has a pretty big disadvantage. So we were pushed back. Chaos is able to take me out. He was one shot, but I wasn't able to get the kill. Alec looks to get a kill. He's not going to be able to. And Matt is just, you know, kind of handling mid pretty well. He's doing pretty good, you know, considering he has two bolts and we haven't had any lanes one. I mean, not, gems, not bolts. Anyways, their bow puts down mine, so that's pretty dangerous. Matt's going to trigger one mine. I'm going to walk into the other, and I'm going to go down, almost taking out that bow. And everyone here is now one shot, literally less than 500 HP for every single player. Um, so that kind of sucked. Chaos is going to get stunned over there. I'm going to be able to finish off that kill. Bow mines do carry. Bow and Max, who we have on the team, are two of the most broken brawlers in the game right now. So our comp is really good. I'm going to just go back here, hit that bow so I can help out with lane. I hit a really big shot over there on Chaos. Chaos is now one shot. We're able to get that kill. And now we have pretty good positioning in the middle. Now the issue is as soon as their bow gets um, gets the mines, we're going to be pushed back a little bit. So we're trying not to get hit by their bow as much as possible. I'm hitting Chaos over there. I'm going to use the Nani head and just try and push them back. I'm just going to go for that bow again so the bow can't, you know, just push up. He's just chilling in the back, regening. And I'm just there, you know, where I'm able to kill Chaos over there. We're also able to get the stun off on their bow, and that is going to be the game. We're going to get the gems, and we're just going to run back. I'm going to hit a big shot over there on Chaos, which is going to kill him. And then that is going to be the game. So these guys are very, very good players. Don't get it wrong. They are literally pro players, especially Chaos, one of the best players in the world. But that is going to be the first game. So let's move on to the second game and let's keep things rolling. So hopping into the next game, we are going to be playing against a Mortis. Now, Mortis is pretty good against Nani besides the, uh, you know, the tick or not. Sorry, no, I almost said tick head besides the Nani head. If Nani gets head and Mortis runs into it, obviously it is not that great. And they're going to have a tick mid, which is kind of weird. We almost go down to the Mortis. We're left at 168 HP, so that was pretty close. Um, Alex doing a really good job on lane. It looks like this bow is just going to give up right at the start when he sees our comp. The tick is going to move up. Alec almost goes down, but he's going to run away. That bow looks pretty confused with what it's doing. Again, if you guys face a good team or someone you know, please try because they're either recording or trying to do something. And it's just not that fun if you don't try. We're able to get the kill over there. I'm going to kill the bow that isn't really doing anything. And Mortis is going to run into me. I have the Nani head, so all I have to do is click that big yellow button to use it and that is going to be it and as you guys can see this bow is kind of just shooting at a wall guys please don't do this it's not fun for your teammates it's not even fun for you it's not fun for us nobody likes free wins so let's just move on to the next game just wanted to show you guys please don't do this it's not fun and let's carry on okay so here we go hopping to the next game now this game was definitely a challenge because they have sprout and piper now sprout is really good at killing three shot units so sprout obviously counters piper pretty well counters nani pretty well and it's not very fun to lane against on this map because as you guys can see, Alec cannot reach the Sprout. And this Sprout's just chucking shots. You can use the train or the minecart, as you guys can see, to get super crazy range. And then I'm over here on lane with a, with a Rosa, which a Rosa is really difficult at the start as a Nani. Because it has so much HP and it's kind of hard to hit when it's all in the grass. Uh, but we're going to slowly build our way to super. I'm able to take it out. Alec is going to go down over there to the minecart, I believe. We're almost going to be able to get that sprout, but it does eat grass, so we're not going to be able to do so. But we're in pretty good position now. You know, if we got a few of the breaks over here. I have my super. Unfortunately, they're kind of building up that grass in the middle, but our bow mines are getting rid of that grass, so that's really good. You guys can see half of the grass already taken out. I'm going to go for the piper over there. She's going to jump up. I'm going to TP, which is probably a really bad TP because I TP'd into a bomb, but either way, we're going to be fine. We're going to live, and we're just going to walk on out. Alec is going to get a couple kills, and it's now 6-4 to four in gems, so it's a pretty close game. We now have 7 and control the mid, so it's looking pretty good for us, although it is close, and Sprout slash Piper can do a lot very quickly, so it is nowhere near over. They're pushing us back quite well over there. 
We're going to be able to break that uh, double stun over there by the bow. And just like that, it's going to be game. You guys know just how strong bow is. Those mines are ridiculous. And in an even game where they add position, one button and bam, we're going to win the game. So that's going to be it for this one. We're going to be able to take the W. Now let's hop into our fourth and final game and show you guys what happened. So hopping into our final game here, we have Bo, Carl, and Colette is what we're up against. I'm going to be just chilling because, you know, this isn't really the greatest matchup. I don't really like facing a Colette, but we're going to lane it anyways. As you guys saw from that first game, it was pretty difficult. We're able to get it pretty low, but we're not able to get the kill. Unfortunately, Matt's going to be pushed back a little bit by their Bo. Um, and we're just going to be chilling on this Colette. Really good pinch over here. It's one shot. Matt should shoot it now, but he's going to just shoot the wall three times, I think. I don't know if it was this game or the next game where it happened but he does enjoy shooting those walls but anyways we're gonna continue i lost lane at the start alec is doing a pretty good job working up um that carl is one shot alec is gonna give the speed over there that colette messed up which is gonna allow me to get an easy kill alec is gonna move up i'm gonna hit a big shot on that bow and just like that alec is gonna get four gems we're gonna be able to get another kill and alec is just gonna run right on out i'm now in my nani head i use the nani head on that colette Almost able to get the kill, unfortunately not able to, but things are going pretty well. We have good control, 8-0, we have bow mines, we have that max speed. I now have Carl on lane, which is a lot easier for me to handle. It's one shot right there, so I'm going to be able to take it out very soon. Unfortunately, I did miss that final shot. Don't know what those bow mines were, but it's fine because we have countdown anyways. Carl moves up, able to hit it with two big shots, and we're going to be able to get that kill. And with 13 seconds left, it is not looking very good for the opposing team. We're just going to be shooting shots over there. Going to be able to get a couple shots, a couple hits, a couple kills. And that is going to be it for the game. Now, we were close to world record Nani. But unfortunately, you know, it's a tough brawler, brawler to grind. After this game, we took an L. And then I kind of just quit on it because so many times we lost for, for just absolutely dumb reasons. And even though we're like only 20 trophies away from world record, I just gave up. I didn't want to deal with the hassle anymore. So we're going to be content with rank 35. And that's going to be it. One more brawler. And we officially have 50% of the rank 35s. Now, we haven't grinded it too much. But I am considering just going on a rank 35 grind. And perhaps just finishing them all within the next month. But anyways, it's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, you guys already know what to do. Sub, like, comment, do all that. But I will be back again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.